If you're a little bit lost on this question, you can go to the second paragraph to look. What are the two things that Greeks value? Jalen D. Um, the name. Okay, pause. Everybody go to paragraph two. Josiah is looking at paragraph two. Demai is looking at paragraph two. Jameer is one. Eyes are in on paragraph two. What are the two things that Greeks value? Jonah. One of them is the Parthenon. Okay, so this is about the Parthenon, but that's not one of the things that they value. So fools and revolt. Not exactly. Andre. Balance. Balance is one of them. What's the other? Mark. Order. Order. There are two parts of Greek culture that really show balance and order. This text talks about two different parts of Greek culture. What is one part of Greek culture where you can see the balance and order? 30 seconds, turn and talk to your partner, see if you can find both of the parts of culture that value balance and order. Go. <laughs> Three, two, voices are off, eyes are forward, one, and Kaylin, zero. One thing in Greek culture that shows the values of balance and order. Give me one, Jalen D. Beautiful. Underline that right here. Architecture shows the value of balance and order. What is the other thing that shows the Greeks value balance and order? Caitlin. Okay, there's one other part of culture though. Everybody come with me to paragraph four. Eyes are in. Aminat's going to paragraph four. Morgan's going to paragraph four. What is it, Jazea? Democracy. It's democracy or more broadly, government. Nice job. So now team, we just learned three important things. We learned that the Greeks value what and what, Hope? Architecture. No, they value those two qualities in balance and order, and we can see them displayed in what parts of their culture, Amir G. Balance and order, we can see them displayed in what parts of the Greek culture? Nope, we just talked about them. Listen up, because I'm coming right back to you. Keyshawn. Hold on, team. We're not laughing. Just to clarify, we're not talking about placement in the world. We're talking about aspects of their culture that they value, that they show us through balance and order. Architecture. Yeah, and what's right. the other one? Of your G. Exactly, okay? Building on Keyshawn's important point, though, why was America mentioned in paragraph three? Oh. Call on someone, Keyshawn, real quick. One, two, three. To show how um, the government in America is is different from the government in Greece. Not quite, Caitlin. To um, describe that that means that Greek um, culture is doing some American culture. And specifically, what part of American culture has been so influenced by Greek culture, Andre? Why? Because. They, they like that, that they, they make order and, and, um, and balance between the, um, the government. Like. What type of government does Greek have that is similar to the type of government that America has? I saw it on a lot of paper. Josiah? Um, our government and Greece, Greek or Greece government, um, they balance things out between the world. And they put things in order. The question is what type of government? Monarchy. Um, I mean, I could list more. What is it, Keyshawn? Um, I think that they had a leader like a king and a queen. 
No, go back. Mark's going back. Jonah went back and reread. Andre went back. You, this is so important. Demai, what is it? Democracy. Democracy. What is it, everyone? Democracy. Everyone write it down. Ms. Jenkins, your question was really strong in connecting the two. So why are Greece and the United States connected? Who can summarize, Andre? Greek and um, the United States are connected because they both <coughs> use democratic to, um, to, to do their, um, their government. Who came first, Greece or the United States? No. Mark? Greece. Ah, okay. So team, right now, a lot of us had a central idea statement that either focused on the Parthenon or on architecture. We know now that this text is not just about architecture and it's not just about the Parthenon. So please take 30 seconds right now to revise your central idea statement to include what we just talked about. The things that Greece values, what parts of culture show that they value it, and our connection, America's connection to Greece. I'm going to actually give you one minute so that your central idea statement will be super strong and thorough. One minute, everybody writes. Go. Tiana's writing her central idea statement. Kimaya is revising her central idea statement. Demaya is revising her central idea statement. You're only talking about democracy, you're still too specific. If you need a hint, try and use this word. Legacy, impact. If you need a hint, use that one word. How much time left? We have 18 seconds to finish our central idea statements. We're gonna call on a couple to share out strong central idea statements. Mr. Walker, did you find anyone who did them all? I saw a lot of people going back to revise, but I didn't see one that stood out to me. Isaiah, read yours. Isaiah, go ahead, that's you. Your name's Isaiah. <laughs> Mr. Odom. Odom, Isaiah, Isaiah, Odom, go ahead. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, uh, that's embarrassing. Jonah, go ahead. I, I said, Greece, value, balance, and order. Um, their architecture and their democracy shows their balance and order. Really, really strong job. Did anyone add a note about the impact that Greece has had on other cultures like the United States? Go ahead, Kimaya. Um, Great. professionalism, Kishan professionalism, they're taking strong notes. Great job team with the do now. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to get this down or to add it to your own if you hadn't had it already. Then we're just going to run through the answers to the questions because we, we went over the most important stuff. Okay, it looks like most of us are done. I'll give it to you if you need it. Question number one, I'm going to run through the answers real quick so that we have time for the rest of our lesson. Answer to question number one is C, silent celebration. Question two is B, three, D, four, A, five, A. Hands in the air if you got four out of five. Nice job. Keep your hand in the air if you got all five. Beautiful. Hands down. Really strong job. We're going to take a couple notes at the bottom of our page. Key terms. Culture is defined as pencils are up, ready to write. Maya's ready to write. Jalen's ready to write. Culture is defined as the beliefs. 
beliefs, customs, art, etc., of a particular society. Beliefs, customs, art. What is a cultural legacy? Read it, read it for us, please, Jacori. Cultural, leg cultural legacies are the components of the culture that have lived on throughout history. What is one component of Greek culture that has left a cultural legacy? We just talked about this. It's a quick review. What is one component of Greek culture that left a cultural legacy?